Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing the Racer Star Tattoo 4 in 1 ESC. Now this is a 32 bit ESC and let's quickly open it and check it out. Um, hopefully it's good. The, the regular tattoo was pretty good so um, this should be pretty decent. This is like a budget D shot 1200 ESC in a way you could consider it that way. So as you see we, we have um, the JST SH or XH to um, you know servo type connectors here so that's pretty awesome and they are silicone so that's good and here we have another one which is um, the JST connector to another JST connector which is also good and it is silicone also and we have some nice long nylon screws here very long ones which is very good and they do have these they provide you with these little spacers Sometimes I really do prefer these spacers, they're pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's just a little extra option. Not really anything. So that's good, that's very good of them. They provide all this stuff with it. So, all right. So let's go over the specifications now. Then we're gonna check its weight and then we hit it on the test bench. All right, so looking at it here, um, we do have a 12 volt regulator and we do have a 5 volt regulator and there's motor 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you wanted to power up your VTX, you would hit it from here. Now I've had people tell me that this does have a lot of noise on um, on the 12 volt regulator, but that's totally fine. Um, if it's a 12 volt regulator, it'll be totally okay if we just add a low ESR capacitor right there. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, and yeah, so it's a, it's a BL Heli 32 ESC. And it runs D-Shot 1,200, and it's pretty legit. Let's see the orientation. So, okay, back. So here we go. One, two, three, four. So it's perfect beta flight orientation, which is absolutely perfect. However, when you start, you're going to have to remove this heat shrink here because you cannot access your motor wires. So, yeah. All right, let's quickly wait as it is like this, and we'll take it from there. All right, so we got the scale. We're gonna zero it out. I really like these little cheap ones. You know, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. But the the, the previous one was pretty decent. It's 18 grams. That's fairly light, I think. Uh, let me get another one in to measure real quick, just to get an idea. All right, here I got a spare one that I've been testing, and 16 grams. So, yeah, that's about the same. It's really about the same. 17 grams, 18 grams. This one. If you remove the wires, it's gonna be exactly the same, really. So. So yeah, that's good. It's not too heavy. It's just fine. All right, so just a little bit more about the specifications. Now, as I showed you, it does have a 12 volt regulator, which is rated for uh, three amps, and the five volt regulator is rated for one amp. So that's good. That's that's just, you know, the default, the normal, what is to be expected. Uh, they're saying it weighs 13 grams, possibly it weighs 13 grams without the heat shrink and without these long wires here. So these are silicone also, and it's stating that it is, a, it, could, it could take a 40 amp burst for 10 seconds. So that's very good. It's very, very good. So you can actually put some power hungry motors on this guy without worrying about basically just frying it. So that's, that's also very good. And it's rated for 35 amps. So that's awesome. And that's really it. Overall it looks nice. It has some kind of coating on there. I don't know if that's going to be conformal coating. But and if you, I don't know if you guys could see that. It's nice, you know. Quality is good, is to be expected lately from Racer Star, so that's very good. So, yeah, let's get the dimensions and then we'll put it to the test. Alright, so. It is 42 millimeters wide. Let's see the length. It is 38 millimeters long and it is, let's see how, let's find the thickest part. The thickest part is usually, well, we can just do this right there. It's anywhere between six and seven millimeters thick. So yeah, that, that's, that's good. I mean, that's average. It's nothing too big, nothing too small. It's just the normal 4-in-1 ESC. So let's put it on the bench and let's see how good this guy is. 
All right, guys, so before I begin, uh, I just need to let you know the layout. There's going to be two lines. There's going to be the purple line and the yellow line. The purple line or pink, I don't know how you're going to see it. The purple line is the 12-volt regulator and the white, the yellow line is the 5-volt regulator. So let's get started. Alright guys, so how did it do? And it did actually very good. I was expecting worse. I was expecting bad actually. This was very good. A small low ESR capacitor will clean that right up. Uh, the VTX did have a little tiny bit of noise. I saw like a, a 12 volt, not 12, sorry. The 12 volt regular had like around mm, maximum of a two volt jump, drop and, and up possibly. Um, but you know, that's, that's, that's an easy fix. This is nothing, you know. I've seen ESCs that jump 30 volts with a lot of noise and a higher frequency and a low ESR capacitor just cleaned that up. So this is this is this is very good. That, that's that's what it is. It's actually very good. So this is a four in one uh, budget 32 bit ESC and um, it seems good. I'm actually going to build this and I'm not going to be afraid to build it. Unlike the DYS F30 amp that one didn't even work actually, guys. After we built it, I had to replace everything. So I'll come back to that one later on. But overall, actually, this is very good. I'll, I'll put this with any F4 flight controller I haven't have. I think I have an Omnibus. Uh, so an F4 Omnibus. So maybe we're going to stick, I'm going to stick this guy with it. Because um, it, it, it's good. All it needs is low ESR capacitor. It has 5 volt and 12 volt regulator. So it's just going to perform. So this is D-Shot 1200. If you're up for that, it's BL Heli 32. And you, we can actually even improve its... Um, its uh, efficiency and its noise reduction. We could actually reduce noise. What I found is on BL Heli 32, if you actually draw increase the PD PWM frequency to the max, like on the Airbot Roth, it's 48 kilohertz. This one I don't know yet. I have not connected it, but maybe it's like 24 or maybe like 32 or something. I think it's like 32 kilohertz. And the more you increase it, I've noticed the ESCs get a lot smoother. The motor sounds a lot better and the noise gets dropped so i guess it's just it's just in sync so good or so aligned it i don't understand we'll figure it out once i get my tools for testing then we can actually see what's really going on but overall if you increase the pwm frequency in your bl health 32 escs you're gonna have you're gonna it's, it's gonna be a lot cleaner for your system actually um it's, it's very good so that's something to take note of uh you can improve performance on these guys and even though he did very good but i do recommend you add a low ESR capacitor right here to these guys a 470 or a 330 microfarad will work, but I'm going to add a thousand because I have a bunch of thousands and that'll just basically clean everything up perfect. So uh, this is overall good. I don't see it's going to give you a headache at all if you add the low ESR capacitor. It might not even need one, but I read a comment. Some guy said that he needed one, but it also comes back down to your motors. Um, I have some Emacs. Maybe we'll put some Emacs 2205S motors on there, which are very noisy since they have strong magnets and we could take them out for a spin. But overall, I have a good feeling for this guy. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy I got him, actually. Um, and if anyone has experience with this, please leave a comment down below and let us know how that went for you. And I'll be building this guy very soon on the channel. So, yeah, that's it, guys. So overall, this is a good one. Um, I didn't test the raw voltage from here because it has a 12 volt regulator so we just powered off the 12 volt regulator and that's it it's, it's a very clean 12 volt regulator not very clean it's clean um just add that low esr and you're good to go so yeah that's it guys so it's, it's gonna be a very good one it's, it should be very good and um like i said if anyone's used it please let me know down in the comments and let others know and that's gonna conclude it for this video guys so Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.